So I just finished my first real project with this lathe. I made 20 of these, what I'm calling buttons, for the compression tubes on the wings of my Super Baby Great Lakes. They're just to align those compression tubes and keep them in place. Um, just about uh, 5 sixteenths or a little over thickness. I got a chamfer here. I threaded them. Uh, or, or did a countersink here. A chamfer on this edge. And it's 6061 aluminum. And it just fits on this little guy right here. And the lathe did fantastic. I really like it. Um, I would recommend putting a something like a phase two quick change tool post on it, get a keyless chuck, and I would also recommend uh, installing a cam lock or making a cam lock for the tailstock. Other than that, it's fantastic. I'm really happy with it, and uh, I think it's going to really serve my purposes well and give me a lot of great use. It's a, it's a great little lathe. I also definitely used the variable speed a lot to speed it up and slow it down very quickly. Um, you know, now that I think about having to swap belts every time I wanted to do that, just makes me really, really glad I got the, the one with the variable speed motor. That's a great feature that I find myself using a lot. So the Grizzly G0752, it's a great little lathe, and I definitely can recommend it. One uh, thing that's a little bit annoying, the, the splash tray in back there, it doesn't come all the way down to the bottom. There's a two or three inches um, between the tray. Even though the tray's at an angle like this, some little chips snuck back through there and got on the floor behind the lathe. So I don't know why they didn't uh, extend that all the way down to the, to the bottom here. But that's a minor gripe. And actually, you could tape some cardboard on there or something, which actually I think I may do now. Um, but overall, it's a great lathe and I'm real happy with it.